Those who follow my channel know that I have religiously been playing Donkey Kong for the past couple years in order to achieve two things, the kill screen and 1 million points. Now on my way to these objectives, I realized that it's possible I could get a million points and the kill screen in the same game, hence killing two birds with one stone. Little did I know that getting 1 million points was much, much more difficult than simply getting the kill screen. My best chance at achieving both these goals was a few months ago in this game you're watching now. And at 968,000 points here, with only a couple screens left to the kill screen, let's see what happens. Oh! Oh, for the love of God! That's right, I died. And at this point, I was so frustrated, I decided to take a break and try my hand at another game, Donkey Kong Jr. Although fairly similar in difficulty, the game has some minor differences. In Donkey Kong, there's six boards to clear each level, three barrel boards, a cement slash pie factory level, springs slash elevator board, and the rivets board. In Donkey Kong Jr., there's only four boards per level. The vines, the springboard, the hideout, and the chains or keys level. Now, one similarity is that there are also a lot of point pressing techniques in Donkey Kong Jr. For example, here in the hideout, which means that you can get a much higher score than just obtaining a kill screen in Donkey Kong Jr. One difference between the two is that if you're going to attempt to get a kill screen, you need to know the number sequencing of the levels. For example, in Donkey Kong, they go from 1 to 21. And at 22, first board is the kill screen. In Donkey Kong Jr., they go from 1 to 9. And then it goes blank after level 9 until level 17, where instead of using the number 17, they use the letter A for level 17, B for level 18, C, D, E, which equates to level 21, then F, Vines board, is the kill screen. So here we are, I made it to level E on my last guy. This is level E, the last board, uh, chains or keys. Let's see what happens. Is that it? What do I do now? Just play? How long till it, uh... Just don't die, right? Just sit here. Well, I don't know, as soon as this game says I'm dead, right? I thought this was it. When does it crash? I don't know. There it is. Yes! Yes! That's the way you do it, right there. You beat all of it? Yeah, get that monkey off my back. You Pun intended. Get that monkey off my back. You beat the whole game? Yeah. Now, if you ever want to beat Hell the game yeah. and get a kill screen, you still have to do a couple things to legitimize your kill screen. You're going to one, have to show your joystick and show that it's a four way instead of an eight way. Why you ask? Well, I'm going to let Carl Jobs explain it, but know that instead of barrels in Donkey Kong Jr., you can steer blue snappers while climbing vines. So it's similar in that fashion to Donkey Kong. Now, the original Donkey Kong stick is four-way, which means it can only go up, down, left, and right. But an eight-way stick, like the one you would find on all modern arcades, can also go diagonally. When it comes to Donkey Kong, an eight-way stick fundamentally changes the way the game can be played. If you want to steer barrels while on a ladder, you have to stop and hold left or right, because you can't go up and to the side at the same time. But with an eight-way stick, you can continue to climb ladders while steering barrels by using Using the diagonals. With an eight-way stick, you can do things you can't do on an original arcade, which is why they are banned. Now, after showing your four-way joystick, 
You're going to have to show your arcade PCB if you're playing on arcade and legitimize the arcade PCB. You'll also show your dip switches and then maybe your ROM chips uh, if needed as well. Sometimes they like to see the Z80 chip or any other chip as well. And then you'll get your score legitimized and go down in history as one of the players to get to the kill screen of Donkey Kong or Donkey Kong Jr. Hey, thanks for watching and give this video a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it.